Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Chris Tales. Last time we left off, we explored Nevatulira. Yeah, we should not keep her waiting. Yeah, we explored Nevatulira, and we found out about keychains, which is a way to upgrade our weapons, which I think is kind of cool. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I saw an item in the shop that I definitely, definitely want to save up for, for um, Christopher. Yeah, we talked to you, and we gotta go somewhere. I think we just gotta walk forward, right? What a charming young lady. We should Yeah, meeting her at the museum, which I'm assuming is this or somewhere over here. These are quite the peculiar lampposts. I was just thinking the same. These lamps were used to keep the city warm. But it looks like they've run out of fuel. Wait a second. We have lamps in St. Clarity, but they mostly just give off light. These are different. They use a mixture of both sapphire dust and ruby dust to generate a large-scale heating effect. The artisans of Talira are very skilled when it comes to elemental magic. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, Orite's Mansion, Town Exit, to the west is the museum and east is the university. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go to the museum first. Uh, I don't see much reason to hit that yet. I do, however, see a reason to go up there and grab that treasure chest. I mean, this is the Orowitz mansion. Maybe it's the 10,000 gold I need to buy those boots. Or I, I actually think I need 15,000. Oh, come, come on, Matthias. You slow asshole. I don't know when a patch for this game is coming, because, uh... I imagine, um, the screen tearing issue that I've kind of gotten used to at this point, and Matthias doing that are really my only complaints, and I imagine a, a patch would fix that pretty easily. Whoa, you got a lot more clothes since you were young. I'll be keeping an eye on all of you. We don't need no outsiders disturbing the parade. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. And oh god. Yeah. This is, uh, come on, get 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 over here. Get over here. Come on, Matthias, this is your one job. I find the ones in town like this are usually not accessories or anything. They're usually just little consumables. Alright, museum. What's up, museum? Well, these things certainly look pretty cool. Ooh, the past version of this middle thing looks awesome. This is the museum where Risa said to meet her, but it doesn't seem like she's here yet. You've been acting a little strange ever since we met her, Christopher. What can I say? She's cute and I love her energy. Straight and to the point. There you go. I liked you better when you were thinking with your stomach. I mean, at least he's not being, like, obsessively creepy about it. He's just like, yeah, she's cute and I like her. Ugh, whatever. Seems like we need to kill some time before she gets here. Why don't we check out some of the exhibits? Cool. I like character that's actually like really flirty with a girl in a JRPG that doesn't come off as sort of annoying after a little bit. He's just like, yeah, I think she's cute, so what? It's not like, he's, it's not like all the character thinks about and it's, it, it's not, like, he's like, yeah, I'm interested in the character because she's cool and everything, not just because she's there and she's a lady. It can't be open from this side. It's especially uh, cooler because Christopher has seen other girls and never been like, oh my god, girls. It's just this one that he's like, ooh, she's cute. There are no records explaining what these ornate bowls were used for, but researchers found the residue of blood and pulverized sapphires. This place is incredible. Look at all those artifacts. They detail the past of the city and how the Talirans became what they are today. Interesting. Like, sacrifice skulls? After becoming terrestrial, the avian life of the Talira region began to use tools for hunting. Here we can see some of their hunting weapons, which were probably also used in their intertribal combat. So yeah, you were seemingly... You've been avian for quite a bit. Also, this one was... The record's explaining what these ornate bowls were used for, but researchers found residue of blood and pulverized sapphires. They detail the past of the But those aren't bowls, that's a head. Weird. I I'm wondering if it's supposed to be the for the things over there? Because this one talks- like, these are clearly skulls, right? Yeah. 
Yep, tools for hunting. Okay. After the last ice age, avian fossils in the Tulira region began to change quickly. Crystal deposits in their bones may have given these birds magical abilities, but at the cost of making them too heavy for flight. Okay, so you can't fly anymore, but you got more magic. I swear I saw this thing move. This artifact feels familiar somehow. It looks as if it could wake up at any moment. Oh, hi. I also feel the need to point out that, uh, yeah, Chris Christopher continues to be my favorite character. He's just all around pretty great. Good morning, my children. F f it feels good to wake up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I st st startled you, sweetheart. I think your magic helped me wake up. That was a great line, right? <laughs> I wish I could give you a nice present to make you feel better. It's uh, alive? It appears so. I, 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 I must say, I'm not quite feeling like myself, though. In fact, well, that would do it. I seem to be missing m my, my, my body. You don't say. What the heck are you? Me? I am... One of the witnesses, I think. My memories are a, a little fuzzy. That's why you felt familiar. You're like Miss Paulina. Paulina? Uh, no, wait. My name is Buki. Sorry, dear. Where are you from? Hmm. I was the guardian of something until a lady came and... Uh, did something to me. I wish I could remember what it was. Okay, I feel like that character from the Orowitz family that we've seen is probably evil. Probably sabotaged the mirror because of the time Empress told them to, and also got this particular character to uh, leave and did whatever this is to them. Oh, confound it. When you reach my, my, my age, you really ought to keep some notes. Well, she is certainly unique. Perhaps we should bring her with us. We're gonna lug that around. Maestro? I suppose she can't do much harm in that state. Let's see what we can learn from her. Also, we're just gonna rob the museum. Is there <laughs> nobody cares about that? Just walk in and steal one of the exhibits? Are you guys serious? You wouldn't be scared, would you, warrior? Buki's head was added to your back. Yeah, we just stole an exhibit. I'm here, everyone. What did I miss? It's a bit of a long story, but I'll be happy to fill you in later. Yeah, just some theft. All right. Well, one sec. I'm not done looking. The last ice age, avian fossils began to change. Okay, wait. That's the one we already read. Coming terrestrial. Okay, wait. So it's. Okay, okay, we weird, weird, and they're mirrored on each side. Okay, can I go in here? We should check that head first. <laughs> that that's not what that says. Wait, Chris Bell, Reese is already here. Why would we leave? Why would we left just now? Let's speak with her, man. I I feel like uh, at least for this version of the game, uh, some of these subtitles maybe needed one more pass. Thank you all again for coming. I mean, in, in most parts, it's fine. The, the, the subtitles are fine. But there are some points where I'm like, that one's, that one's an easily missable one, I guess. That, that might be something that the QA team just missed. Or the QA team pointed out, but they didn't have enough time to change before the release. Or just kind of flew under the radar. Because that is a bit of a niche case where this character walks in. Most users would probably go ahead and just go over to Reza and talk to her. But I tried to go to that room. Anytime. So, how can we help? The lower floors of the museum are over this way. Uncle Lucio used to be the curator, and his old office is down this way too. You know, I, I played a lot of Lucio in my time on Overwatch. After Mom died, the museum was closed. Now it's fallen into disrepair, and there are monsters all over. Oh, no worries about that. We're good at handling monsters. So this is where you saw that suspicious shadow slinking off to? Yes. I'm sure there must be some connection. Well, it's the only lead we have for the moment. Let's go check it out. You can just wait here, Risa. No, join the party. What? No way. 
Uncle Wilhelm, I'm going with you. Risa? She was my mother. I might need a little help with the monsters, but this is my investigation. It's okay, Uncle Wilhelm. I promise I'll protect her. <laughs> Talking shit to Wilhelm and sucking up to Risa at the same time. You will not call me that ever again. Fine, do as you will. Let's see what we can find down there. New party member? Ah. Well, what do we. Nah. Nah. I was kind of hoping for a new party member. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was very much hoping for a new party member. I like Risa's design. It's cool. This, like, avian uh, group is very, very cool. I like it quite a bit. Chris Bell, what do you want to do? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, also, we don't- we can't see past, present, and future anymore. Our ability was taken away again. Okay, excuse me? Oh, okay. Hmm. And I do believe Riza said there would be... ...monsters here. Haven't seen any yet, but... Okay, there we go. Cool, what kind of monsters do you have for me? Hit me with it, as soon as Chris Bell starts- stops running. Okay. Ooh, you're very fast, is what you are. Defense up. Fire defense, and so you must be weak to fire? If I had to guess, uh... Tricoon and B Knight Instructor? Excuse me? I thought you said there were monsters in here, not people. This looks like the military, like, that. what was outside. Is the military not want us getting in here? It'd make a lot of sense. Uh-uh. Okay, what is that? Harden? Okay, it's a metapod. Great. Great. Good to know. Um... I'm just gonna go ahead and fire blast you, okay? 64? Oh, but you're burning. Okay, well, let's go ahead and scan... Are you the same thing as... This unit? Or are you different? Be night trainee. Okay, so yeah, you are the same things. Uh, let's look at the instructor, though. So, scan, throw you conjure. You're the old version. Cool. Retired soldiers that teach new generations. Their incredible knowledge following the war against the Time Empress gave them impressive tactics in combat. They are strong against fire. Weak to lightning. Okay. Good to know. Oh, you can heal. Well, that's obnoxious. That's a pretty big heal, too. Okay. Well, that's not obnoxious at all. Uh, boom. Big ol' parry. Oh, whoa, you hatched? Oh, that's something that can happen. Okay, interesting. Well, uh, I'm going to Thunder Sphere your B Knight instructor. And boom. Dead. That was very big damage. Alright, now let's scan one of you. Go get him, scan, you conjure. Go do some- immune? Weird? I'm guessing I'm supposed to... Oh god. Uh, I'm guessing I'm supposed to, uh, scan the other version of you when you're in your cocoon. Oh god, I'm really bad at timing that- God, you guys get so many more turns than me! Jeez, they're so fast, and they just keep stunning me. So this is what it feels like to get chain CC'd. All right, uh, invoke past crystal. Try fly royalty, could I? Yeah, now you're a cocoon again, cool. Do something. All right, and, uh, oops, no. Boom. Let's hit you with the fire, because it gave you increased fire defense, so I feel like you might be weak to fire. Yeah. There we go. Now we're doing it. And, uh, let's go ahead and scan you as well. Just because I'm curious. But yeah, these guys, if they if they really get going, they can really just combo you. Tulira's trainee... Tulira's trainees start their Militar life by learning the ways of the Rapier. Imagine that's supposed to be military. 
Don't let a trainee fool you, as Tulira's forces are well known for their prowess in sword fights. They are always ready to strike. I feel like it's also supposed to be sword fighting. Yeah, okay. Defense up. Okay, that attacks three times. It's very obnoxious. So, I'm just gonna have to ask you to die. Boom. Big crit. And, uh, let's just go ahead and hit you with the Thunder Sphere to finish you off. Boom. Alright. Jeez. Alright, we had to learn that fight a little bit, but now that we've learned it, it'll be a little bit easier. Cool, cool. Recent Shut circuit. up. I was just playing Monster Hunter World. This is what I get for playing that before this. Um, skills. So, could you please heal everyone up, Chris Bell? There we are. Hopefully we have enough to get those mage shoes by the end of this. Uh-huh. So did we want to go to this side? Is this the progress? This looks like it's actually progress. Actually, never mind. This just looks like a massive area. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's examine this. Oh my goodness! Th 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 this seems to be a part of my body. Ugh, gross. You take it, Chris Bell. Well, what's gross? Oh, um, okay. Is it actually fleshy? Bookie's left hand? Okay. It looks like it might be fleshy. Oh, great. What just happened? A cave in. Ooh, I remember this f f f feeling, feeling. You're awakening to one of the p p powers of the Rena. I am? What does that mean? Um. They say you learn the fastest by doing, sweet sweetie. Why don't you try touching that column over there? If stuff happens, can we like rewind time so it doesn't happen anymore? This column, something feels a little off about it. Put your ha hand, hand, hand on it, sweetie. Ah. <sighs> uh... Oh, interesting. Restore. Well, that's a neat mechanic. Chris Bell! I don't know how I did that, Maestro. It seems you can now send objects into the past and future, as well as your little amphibian friend. That is a really cool mechanic. Awesome. Impressive as always, Chris Bell. I'm sure this power will be very useful. Awesome. The power to send objects to the past or future is yours. Keep your eyes peeled. Sometimes time shifting an object may allow you to reach places you couldn't before. Cool. Well, there we go. Now we can go see what was back here. It was a treasure. Uh, anti-mute. Okay, so an anti-silence, basically. Cool. So what happens if we revert? Decay it. Oh. Okay, so it just turns it into dust, basically. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, we're gonna attack you, the Bee Knight Soldier. Good. I was doing so well with those crits before, but now I'm not. All right, and we just fire blast your ass. Boom. Dead, one hit. All right, and sure, I mean, you're resistant to fire, so there's no point in you trying to attack here. So let's just go ahead and get the last one of you scanned, why don't we? I like that you float. It's very cool. I wonder if that's because they wanted to regain some of their powers of flight that they'd lost through possibly, uh, like, using technology to make themselves float so they could get back their powers of flight, although it's in a rudimentary fashion. As a trainee becomes a soldier, their skills with the rapier have just become more deadly. They can quickly strike at multiple enemies with just one slice. Wait, why a, why a slice? It's a rapier, you're supposed to, you're supposed to poke with it. You don't slice with a rapier. That sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> All right, whatever. Get multiple enemies with one slice with a rapier. It is not a slice weapon. It is a poke weapon. You poke with rapier. Do not slice. Okay, so... I actually think that's a dead end. I don't think we can go over there anymore. I think now we have to go to the right side of the screen. Okay, and that's where I've been. 
So let's go explore the right side now and see what we can do. Uh, oh, okay. This is mostly just a dead end. Cool. There's a small diary here. Entry 87. So they gave me part of the code to hold on to. Woohoo. I'm not sure why everyone gets so excited about being a code keeper. The code is only there to keep the general public out of the deeper areas of the museum anyways. And besides, elite? What narcissist picked that? Elite. Okay, is one part of... I feel like I should write that down. Um, let's go ahead and open up my notes thing on my phone here. And uh, make a new note. And elite. And I'm going to name the note password. Cool. So when I come back next time, I won't be by... Wait, what was the first part of the password? Uh, Restore? That's not quite. Revert. Hmm, that's not quite. Okay. There seems to be something here. Okay, cool. So old wait, old ruler? Impressive shit, shit, old. I'm sorry. Okay, old ruler. Is that a piece of equipment? Uh Is it something here? No. No. So what? what is an old ruler? Key item? Oh, wow, it is. Long wooden ruler. Seems outdated by today's standards, but might hold some sentimental value to someone. Okay, so that's a quest item, probably. I just had to walk back here. Alright. So, you guys again. Let's go ahead and smack you with Chris Bell. I keep getting goods. I was doing so well with your timing before, but now I'm screwing it up. Um, can I one-hit you with this? I don't think I can. Almost, though. Uh, you might be able to finish. And you inflict the fence down. Okay, yeah, you can just barely finish them off. Cool. I did increase your attack with that, I believe. Yeah, you do do, like, a swipe with it. That's weird to do with a rapier, but... Maybe it's just an extra sharp on the sides right here, which seems to kind of defeat the point of one, but whatever. Boom, boom. There we go. I got the critical that time. I was so consistent at it before it felt like, but now I've uh, lost the timing for it. Like I said, I wish they had a system in place like uh, Paper Mario does, where it's like, it tells you if you were late or early. It's a really, really handy little feature with systems like that. Wow, this is a massive dungeon, by the way. I don't like that I'm getting so many anti-mutes, though, because that means I'm going to start running into enemies that mute me, which sounds awful. Boy, I need a sip of my water here. I've been recording for a very long time tonight. Ugh. All right. That is unfortunate that that egg... Oh god, my water fell. Jeez. <laughs> I set it back down and it just fell right back over. Um, hmm. I would like to bop you. Okay, pretty good damage there. Defense down. Uh, you're raising your defense again. I'm gonna hope that the fire blast can still mostly finish you off, even with fire defense up. Yeah. Wow, wait, did that fire defense up even do anything? That was only a good, and it still did 212 damage. Excuse me? Um, we'll build up another synchro, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and Yuka rain you. Oh, but you're super resistant to fire. Oopsie, that was my bad. I should have poisoned you instead. Blue, blue, blue. It's gonna do like nothing. Cause oh, never mind. 286. It was enough to at least kill. Cool. Yeah, what you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna use magic, okay. Um, well. Stabby, stabby. Now you're dead. How you like that? Unfortunately, Chris Bell is getting very, very hurt by that keychain I have on her, but uh, it's fine. We can just heal you up. Alright, cool. Cup of coffee. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. And... Yeah, wow, this place is massive, healing juice. This is such a big dungeon. I'm gonna be here all day. Well, not all day, because we only have five, four minutes left of this video, but we'll make a little bit more progress. Just a teensy tiny bit more. Okay, so... Dead ends... Well, we're getting into another battle, apparently. Alright. Stabby, stabby. Big crits. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with the old Thunder Sphere. Once I get my Mage Boots, I'll be able to just one-hit you guys with this thing. Um, not quite enough to be able to finish... Oh wait, no, I can totally finish you off. I like how it inflicts defense down before I hit, so that I get the benefits when I actually do my attack. That is nuts. Like, you inflict the defense down before you attack, so your... Your current attack that you're doing still gets the effect applied. That's an interesting feature. Alright, so... Down... Oh, there's a side quest item down there, but I feel like I should stick to this floor. So we don't... we don't get, uh... too crazy here. Well, never mind, that's a dead end. Okay, fine, screw me, I guess. I didn't want to go over there anyway. But, uh, we will go over here. Oh, I gotta restore that pillar. That's... that's what it is. Okay, well... Let's murder you really quickly. Big crit. Boom. 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 Ow. Big pain. Thunder Spheres! Kablooey! Yeah, eat that crit. And you do a quick murder. Yeah, so it actually makes you sorta useful damage-wise. Because you can do that now to help out. Ow, I timed that horribly. It's funny, Crispell actually does more damage to herself than you guys do to her. Because I've already got to heal her up again. She's, uh, really beating herself up with that thing. Alright, so... Skills... Go ahead and heal yourself. Luckily, she has enough MP to make it not a problem at all. So do I have to... yeah. So we gotta decay you. I need to grab this item. Quest thing. Sealed book. Hey guys, check out this book I found. This is a museum, fool! Not a library! Things are for looking, not for touching. We, we stole the main exhibit. At least it feels like it was the main exhibit. It was a big centerpiece in the middle of the room. No, I didn't. I mean, it was already burned when we rescued it. Look, it has some sort of seal. Why would a book need a lock like this? It doesn't even look like a key would fit. Stop. Let me see that. Huh? Did we just find the Necronomicon? <laughs> That is no mere lock. It's a magical seal. This is Gladys's magic, for sure. You have no idea what enchantments have been placed on it. It must be opened in the intended way. Otherwise, the contents will vanish without a trace. Then how do we open it? It has a strange hole in it, but I've never seen a key that would fit that. Fascinating. Any suggestions, Wilhelm? Mother Superior. If anyone was close to Gladys, it was her. She might know where to start. Then let's go and ask Mother Superior about it. Alright, we'll do that. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and revert that, and then, uh, restore it. So that, that platform's back. Yeah, this is a cool mechanic. I like this quite a bit. Adds a lot to the, uh, actual going through a dungeon, because if it was just, like, walking wrong pack along pathways and you randomly get in the battles, it'd be kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I still would- I still would prefer if random battles were not a thing. If it was instead, um... Like you... Ran into enemies on the overworld. But, uh, that would be kind of hard to implement, I feel, with... How fast we move. And it would probably just end up being more annoying than anything, so... They might have a reason why they didn't. Um, well, we can go ahead and Thunder Sphere you. You're not a problem. Out of here. And let's just go ahead and finish you off, why don't we? Because I don't think Wilhelm would be able to finish off, uh, Granny. Boom. Big parry. Six damage. Congratulations. 
This child is a better mage than you, old woman. And you've had all your years of life to train. Alright. So, with that, I think we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna make sure... I'll heal up now so future me doesn't have to worry about looking like a fool when I walk into battle and die. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chris Tales, and I will see you next time.